Hello everyone, I'm doing the yoga mold again and this is um, for a commission because someone asked me to make this one twice in brown and copper colors. So yeah, I thought I just film what I'm doing and then later for my second one I can also remember, you know, what I've done. So um, as we say in German, um, Zwei Fliegen mit einer Klappe geschlagen. <laughs> Some germs will understand this. Anyway, um, the yoga mold is from Mold and Shapes. And if you are interested in this mold or any other of their molds, just use the promo code PT5. So you get 5% discount on every purchase order. Um, there you see me mixing my resin. And I'm using the brunette. It's a very, very nice brown tone from Petra Jungblut, it's a mica. Yeah, giving it a good stir. And my second color is the um, Flesh Rich Bronze, also from Petra. She has really wonderful micas. I use them a lot. So mixing this up. My resin, by the way, is the B20 resin from Depot. If you're interested in their resin, I can um, link Sherry from Cherry's Imagination in my description box. And from, I think from a purchase order from 40 euros, you get 10% discount if you use your promo code. But I link her details into my description box. Um, there I'm using the... Um, Burnt Copper Alloy, it's a pigment paste from Dupont. It's a little bit darker than the um, Flesh Rich Bronze from um, Petra Jungblut. And finally, I'm mixing my Ivory. I love this Ivory from Colorberry. I already used this so many times. And I'm mixing this up. I know um, that I was meant to do like um, just brown and copper, but I thought, you know, I need a little bit something for effect. So I'm hoping for for my ivory. <laughs> yeah, um, there I'm using the torch because I'm popping some air bubbles in my cup. Trick I learned from Sherry. She uses this also in her videos. And I'm going around with the brown. Yeah, very, very nice brown tone. It's almost like chocolate. So that's my cup already done. Now I'm dividing some clear and I'm gonna go around with my clear. I just try to get some effects in in my mold or in my tray. It's gonna be a tray afterwards. And this is the rich bronze. I just pour on top and this is a wonderful color, I like it. And again, using some clear, popping some bubbles and going around again. Just torching a little bit, but very carefully not to um, burn the mold. And now I was not sure what to use first. <laughs> you see me thinking, but I'm using the ivory because copper and copper, I thought mm, this might not be so, or copper and bronze should, uh, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, and now I'm 
again some clear and the copper so I was actually wanting to make a, a small uh, or a thin layer and then um, make a second layer after um, it's dried but I had more resin mixed up normally I wanted to do another mold but I thought no just go further so I have resin still clear resin mixed up so I'm using this all up for this mold and I mixed around about 800 grams of resin and um, the mold was full but not doming so if you want to dome this mold I guess you need another at least 50 grams so pushing my colors again out torching And now I need to mix some more of the dark brown and all the other colors. Yeah, I, I just do it as I'm going and I hope you don't mind that I don't um, stop my video and start again. So mixing this all up. I must admit, I'm, I'm not a, a fan of brown, and but... So far, I'm, I'm very happy and it's looking good. So around again with the brown. Then the bronze. Then the ivory. I um, didn't put any more clear at the moment because... Um, my mold was already full with clear in the center, as you can see. Now the copper. Torching again. And again the brown, what's left. Wrongs. The ivory. Sometimes I need to admit I don't know really what I'm doing. I'm always hoping for good effects. I just go how I feel and yeah, that's finally the copper. And I put some clear, but it's of course not enough. Torching again, popping some bubbles. It's really a big mold. I think 35 centimeter in diameter. I need to check it again. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. And now I'm putting more clear in my center, push my um, colors a little bit out. And I'm torching again. And then I had all in a sudden the idea, why not? Um, well, again, torching. Why not mixing more colors? <laughs> so I'm putting more um, clear into my um, cups and mixing my colors up. So that was my resin gone for another pour, which I've done then a day later. <laughs> so again, the ivory.
I don't know how it is with you guys, but sometimes when you're in the middle of pouring, you just have your ideas. You Also, you need to mix again because the cups are too small, especially when you have such a big mold. And yeah, but sometimes I'm... I'm really smiling with myself because I all in a sudden go in a different way than I um wanted to. Ah uh, yeah, there I dropped some mica, so I needed to catch it up. But this is typical me, I never make a real plan. Sometimes I make plans um yeah, during nights, then I'm thinking what can I do next, but then when I'm actually doing it, I'm doing it completely different. So why all these endless sleepless nights? <laughs> yeah, I'm really laughing with myself. If you look at the sides of, of the mold, you can already see that um, the copper is coming, um, or is it the bronze? I cannot really tell. Um, but it, it makes patterns and this is what I like about resin. So there I had the idea, why don't I go with a puddle pour and hopefully to get an effect like um, this crackle effect or dragon skin or just to put more interest in this mold or into the stray. So again, the ivory. And that's the copper, the brown. And I'm now just using up what I still got. a little bit clear there's not much left anymore <laughs> so again torching and let the colors just go to the center And this is a close-up, and that's what I mean. See what it's doing. I really like it. So, 24 hours later, because um, I didn't have time for unmolding. Taking this out of the mold. And look at this. I really like it. I really like it. Look, look at the crackle or, or this, um, can you say, dragon skin effect, the ring around. I really like it. And the clear bits, as you, you cannot see it now, they are like strings. I don't know if you can see it. It's when you hold it against the sun, it's, it's really beautiful. And... Anyway, I need to correct myself also because in that pour I didn't use the B20 resin, I used the Art Pro from Resin Pro. So um, I'm sorry, um, I need to change my description box and I hope you don't mind because, um, yeah. So, um, there I'm now using a pen, copper color, and... I'm drawing the ohm sign with that pen and I will later top it up with a um, heat resistant layer because my um, client, she wants uh, to use this to put like um, cooking pots on there after, yeah. So I put a 200 degrees heat resistant resin on top and I hope this will be fine. <laughs> 
but I'm gonna do this later because at the moment we have high humidity here in, in Belgium and I don't want to spoil the resin and the design so this is what I'm not gonna show you. But as I said, I am drawing the ohm sign in this copper metallic And I'm not going to emphasize any more of this mold because I think it looks great how it is. Sometimes a little bit less is, is more. I always say this less is more. So, yeah. cleaning a little bit up my mess but I need to send it anyway before I do my top lawyer and there you go I think it's looking good and I'm glad I didn't use gold I like it with the copper bronze color and yeah I hope you liked watching this video and we see each other for the next video thanks for watching guys bye bye